Hey, spring is right around the corner, and even as many people look forward to the sunshine and warmer temperatures, it is also a leading time of year for suicide. Kelloland's Renee Ortiz spoke with a family who lost their 14-year-old daughter to suicide and are now telling their story in the hopes of spreading awareness and support. It's a club nobody wants to be in. Celia and Tim Farmer are coming up on the five-year anniversary of the passing of their daughter, Molly. She was, she, she lit up every room she walked into. And uh, she always had a smile. She always had a smile on her face. And she always just, she's just a really good kid. Molly was months away from her 15th birthday when everything changed. She brought a note into us. She woke us up at about 11. And the note that she, she wrote it on a sticky tab. And it um, said, I want to kill myself. They took Molly to behavioral health to get her help. When she returned home, it seemed like she was getting better. And the last time I went to check on her, her door was locked and she didn't answer. And I knew something was wrong. And I had to pick the lock to get the door open. That's when I found her. She hung herself in her closet with her bed sheet. The farmers say they haven't shared this part of the story with others, but they wanted to tell it now, not just for their own healing, but to raise awareness and prevent this from happening to others. We just felt that it was important for us to share our story so that, you know, if there's, if there's families out there that are going through the same thing we did, we don't want them to feel alone. In Sioux Falls, Renee Ortiz, Kelloland News. Uh, depression can affect anyone, no matter their age. It's why experts say it's so important to watch and listen to those close to you. Warning signs include acting differently, some new emotions, or changes in eating and sleeping patterns. If we get someone the help that they need, um, there is recovery. Recovery is possible. And so that's something that we have to be aware of as well. And letting people know that there's hope and um, there is recovery. If you or someone you know is struggling with thoughts of suicide, you can call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 800-273-8255. We've also included links to resources on kelloland.com.